Today marks one year since the release of the first set of breathtaking images from the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope that's already revolutionizing astronomy. So what's next? Joining us live to answer that question is Nancy Levinson, the interim director of the Space Telescope Science Institute. Thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, this is absolutely my pleasure to get to share this with you. Can I ask you, every time we uh, debut one of the images and we see them on our screen, I know us here in the studio are like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Do you guys have the same sort of enjoyment when you get that first image back? Oh, ab absolutely, a absolutely. The, the, the first reaction is an emotional one. It's a human one. It's, it's about the beauty of, of the universe. And yeah, that's absolutely where it starts. Okay. And then we get into the scientific details. Okay, I love that you get so excited about this just like we do. So about an hour ago, you just released this new image. Can you tell us a little bit about, a, about it and what we're looking at here? Sure. This is a stellar nursery. This is a place where new stars are forming. And this is actually the nearest one to us here on Earth. And it's still about 400 light years away. Um, and so we see some of the new starlight shining to show us bright regions. New stars also form jets, which we see in some of the red. And then some of those new stars are so deeply buried inside the cocoons where they're born that the light doesn't get out at all. And so those are those dark regions, even, even with the power of web. I mean, I think it's incredible. You said it's the closest one to us almost. That's 400 light years away. Yes, exactly, exactly. So this light has been traveling to us for 400 years to get to us so we can enjoy it today. This is incredible. Now, let me just ask you, when I'm looking at this image, the brighter stars that you see, I count maybe three or four of them, are they the newer or are they older? Um, the very brightest ones that you see are actually a little bit older because okay. they've cleared out their surroundings so, so, we, can, so we can see them, yeah. That is incredible. So catch us up. We've had one full year of getting these incredible images. I mean, can I ask you which is your favorite? Sure, and of course it's hard to pick a favorite because, right. because yeah. they're all so wonderful. Um, but one of the things I love is studying galaxies and galaxies have hundreds of billions of stars in them. And we've been looking at some galaxies in the very early universe. And we're finding that they formed very rapidly, very soon after the Big Bang, and built up very quickly. And so, so that's very interesting to us, and we'll have to be adjusting some of, our, some of our theories to explain all of that. Now, Nancy, am I correct in saying that uh, the Webb Telescope also works with other telescopes to get these images? Um, so absolutely, Webb works with other telescopes. So this Im these images that we're looking at are Webb all by itself but it is important to use complementary capabilities. So Webb is specialized in infrared light that we actually don't see with our eyes, whereas Hubble does detect the light we see with our eyes and also the ultraviolet. And so when we put together observations of the same cosmic objects with both of these telescopes, we learn a lot more about those things. Last year, when you saw the first images, did it blow away your expectations? Were you expecting to get these images that were just so crisp and so visually pleasing? Or was it just like, I knew this is what we were going to get. I'm so happy we got it. I, I, I was still absolutely blown away with the first images that we saw. I mean, Webb has outperformed what we expected. And, and it just really is stunning new looks at the universe. So, so I continue to be amazed. Okay, so what else is in store for the telescope in the future? It's a year old. What can we expect maybe three, four, five years down the road? Yeah, one of the things I'm really looking forward to a lot of progress in is in our study of exoplanets. Those are planets that orbit stars uh, outside of our own solar system. And so we can really get to details about their atmospheres, what they're made of, whether they're cloudy or hazy, or maybe those planets are lava worlds. So there's a lot to do there and a lot of examples that are totally different from anything we have in our own solar system. So that'll be a really big area for new discovery. Well, Nancy, we cannot wait to see those images and keep them coming because we are delighted every morning that we get to share them with people. So I'm so happy you're excited as we get we see new ones every couple of weeks. So Nancy, uh, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing what else is in store over the coming years. Terrific. My pleasure.